What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I'd ask if you please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing just what the hell happened to these features in Mortal Kombat. What are these features you speak of? The features I'm speaking of are animalities, bay battles, and uppercut transitions to a different to a different uh to a different stage. Now, for the OGs of Mortal Kombat, which I am proud which I proudly am myself, have played every installment of that game on every single system imaginable. These were the staples. These features were the staples that helped took a game that was once going to be canceled before cancel culture was even popular, was even a thing, and, and, and made it and, and made and took what was looked at as a, a a a horrific, overly violent, you know, poisoning my kid's brain type game. It was once labeled that, and took these staples right here, took these three features of this game and turned it into a worldwide phenomenon. Now, animalities, bay battles, and uppercut transitions to a different stage. Why are they not in MK11? You are talking about some of the most memorable features of this game. If you don't believe me, just take a look right here. See right here, we got the Johnny Cage going against the Shang Tsung. Believe it or not, that was Shang Tsung back in the day, y'all. Looks completely different than what he does now. I wonder if he has that skin in MK. I haven't seen it. We play this, and what is that? Johnny Cage turned into a whole kangaroo on your ass. You understand what I'm saying? Like, these were the type of features. Where are these features? You understand what I'm saying? Animality. If we got friendships and fatalities, where are animalities and bay battles? New Sabot. Turn into a whole anteater. You understand what I'm saying? Where are these features? Show you one more. Turn into a whole damn, uh, 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 what you call, buzzard on your ass. You understand what I'm saying? Animalities. Where are they? If Kotal Khan can turn into the leopard, why can't we have animalities if we already have friendships and fatalities? That lets me know right there that MK11 is not truly done, or at least it shouldn't be. So we move on. We go to uh, Bay Balladies, which is one of my favorite features in the game because it took the violence of the game and made you laugh at it, much like friendships. This was like, this was like another version of friendships. You understand what I'm saying? And what better way to humiliate your opponent after whooping their ass than turning them into a little baby? You understand what I'm saying? Not only was it embarrassing, it was it got a little toxic sometimes. You understand when you get them them hard hitting battles with that one person online. But then at the end of the day, you go through all that violence and all that, and then bam, baby, baby cage. You know what I'm saying? Baby Cage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, where are these features? These features were staples in this game. Look at Baby Baraka. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, ain't that come on, bro. Like, I know it shouldn't call it shouldn't take too much to get these to come into the game, bro. Come on, man. One more. Show you one more. Baby Cyrax. Uh-oh. You understand what I'm saying? Like, where are these features in the game? Where are these features in MK11? Don't y'all think, wouldn't y'all agree that these features in this game, wouldn't it, wouldn't that give you the nostalgic feeling of Mortal Kombat? It, that, that is just more, that makes you feel like Mortal Kombat. You understand what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people, I believe, including myself, are not as satisfied with MK11 as we feel like we should be because so much has been stripped from the game that made us love it in the first place. Now you look at these. These are th this is the biggest one right here. I'm wondering why in the hell is it not in the game? Because you got it in Injustice too. You understand? You got it in the Injustice game, but you don't have it in the game that made it popular to begin with. What do I mean by that? You look at the transition uppercuts. Hit Ermac. Boom! Straight to another stage. You understand what I'm saying? Why is that not? Y'all can't tell me with the graphics y'all got now that these bitches wouldn't be lit right now. Hit it one more time. Hit him one more time. Bam. You understand what I'm saying? Like, where, where, where is that? Where is that? Y'all can't tell me that in this game right here, that if those kind of, if those kind of features were not, and, and those are little small features. You understand what I'm saying? That's, that don't even have anything to do with the, the, the hand to hand combat per se. You understand what I'm saying? That's something you can add after the game, like friendships. 
You understand what I'm saying? I still don't know why it took a year for friendships to get in this damn game, and yet we still don't have these damn features, but that to each his own. Why are these features not in the game? Where are the animalities, where are the babalities, and where are the transition uppercuts? You add them to this game, you 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 breathing you're breathing life into the game, you're making and you all and all in all, you're making it feel like Mortal Kombat again. A lot of people don't feel like they're playing Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's got the violence, yeah, it's got the characters you may recognize, but it doesn't feel like Mortal Kombat. It feels like a glorified Street Fighter. It feels like a more glorified, gory, I'm not even gonna say Street Fighter, but it feels like a a, a watered down version of it with better graphics. When these aspects right here are what made it Mortal Kombat to begin with. But then again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do you think Mortal Kombat 11 did the right thing by keeping out animalities, babalities, and transition uppercuts? And replacing them with things like crush and blow uppercuts, which I think should have been what transition uppercuts was? Or do you think that they should go ahead and add these features to the game? Let me know down in the comment section. As long as you remain respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. That's going to be my video for the day, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for y'all. My name is Rage King. I am out, and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, more good content. Now, hashtag that enough said. Bring back the animalities, bring back the babalities, and bring back the transition uppercuts. I'm out, Ski.